Hello everyone, in this video we'll be looking at the recent stocks in the news. Before we go into the topic, I'd like to remind you that you can create your DMAT account with Alice Blue if you'd like to start trading in the stock market. With Alice Blue's brokerage services, you'll get excellent exposures and margin for trading in the market. So click the link in the description and create your DMAT account. Now let's go into the news for the day. Jet Airways news was announced. Hinduja Etihad Consortium is gearing up to bid for the company under IBC. Tata Group is exploring potential bid but has not taken the final call yet. Reliance Capital has deferred the declaration of results. Avenue Supermarts has issued a commercial paper of 100 crore rupees worth. ONGC is seeking partners to bid for the 64 oil and gas producing fields. JSW Steel's lenders have approved the company's bid for Asian Color Coated is Pat Company, likely to have offered 1,525 crore rupees upfront to the financial creditors, according to sources from CNBC TV18. Epiready Industries was in, this, in the news as their accountants Price Waterhouse and co chartered accountants LLP have expressed its inability to continue as the auditors of the company. So Everready Industries has appointed Singhi and Co. Chartered Accountants as their new auditors. Syndicate Bank's board has approved to raise capital up to 500 crore rupees during the financial year 2019-2020 by way of qualified institutional placement, follow on public issue preferential allotment or any other mode. NMTC has terminated, terminated contract with BHEL for delay in 1,395 crore rupees project. Deepak Nitride, through its wholly owned subsidiary Deepak Phenolics, has achieved major milestone awards through manufacture of phenol and acetone with average capacity utilization of around 80% and having achieved peak capacity utilization of 100% in the fourth quarter of financial year 2019 and contributes 927 crore rupees to consolidated turnover of 2,715 crore rupees. United van der Horst Company has approved the raising of funds by way of creating, offering, issue and allotting 3,80,000 equity shares of face value 10 rupees each on preferential basis. Care Ratings has assigned a double A plus rating to Sriram Transport Finance Company with stable outlook for their proposed non-convertible debentures of 10,000 crore rupees worth. Maturity of certain NCDs of Reliance Home Finance, which is worth 400 crore rupees, has been ex extended till October 31st, 2019, with the formal written consent of the concerned debenture trustees and NCD holders. Goodrich Properties QIP Committee has approved the issue and allotment of 2 crore 26 lakhs 29,310 equity shares to eligible QIB at the issue price of 928 rupees, aggregating to 2,100 crore rupees pursuant to the issue. ABC India has received an order of 137.7 crore rupees worth from BHEL for multimodal transportation of export project cargo from India to the MSTPP Vampal project in Bangladesh. DCM Shriram was in the news as ICRA reformed, reaffirmed its ratings on the term loans at a double A, but revised the outlook to positive from stable. PNC Infratech has received credit rating from CARE ratings on the bank facilities of company subsidiary PNC Delhi Industrial Infra Private Limited to a triple B plus with positive outlook from a triple B with stable outlook. JK Papers has received revised ratings from Crystal and its outlook from stable to positive and has upgraded its ratings of the company. Kalpa Taru Power Transmission has received new orders of 975 crore rupees worth. Thank you for watching this video. Now this specific article news item has been sourced from this website. You can go to this website for more details. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on stock market and trading, please subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to start trading in the stock market, you can create your DMAT account with Alice Blue's brokerage services by clicking the link in the description and filling out your details. With Alice Blue, you'll get excellent exposures and margin for trading in the stock market.